password one two three but i typed in the correct password oh or could it be a b c one two three four five someone's logged into my account i've been hacked so how do you prevent your online accounts from getting hacked like this you see there are cyber criminals out there who want to hack into your online accounts to steal your personal and financial information so a weak password like this just makes it easier for them in fact a cyber criminal can crack this password in seconds and they may even use your accounts and pretend to be you so that they can scam your family and friends you wouldn't use a weak door lock to keep your home safe so why use weak passwords for your online accounts here's how you can create passwords that are strong and yet easy to remember and add extra security to your online accounts first Think of a phrase with five or more words, something related to a memory only you would know. Remember to avoid information that cyber criminals can easily obtain, guess, or may already know, such as your child's name or your birthday, those sorts of things. And make sure it's at least 12 characters. It can still be stronger. To make your password even harder to crack, add uppercase and lowercase letters numbers and even throw in a symbol or two now that's much stronger next protect your account further by adding another layer of security we call this two-factor authentication or 2fa with 2fa there are two types of information required which helps to verify your identity with the first factor being your password the second factor is usually a one-time password you get through an sms or a physical token it can also be your fingerprint now enabling this extra layer of security might seem troublesome but activating 2fa means that even if a cyber criminal manages to crack your password he still won't be able to access your account this is because he wouldn't have that second factor which is your one-time password and your fingerprint 2FA is readily available for many of your online accounts, including email and social media. It can be easily set up for Facebook, like this. And you can also activate 2FA for your WhatsApp by doing this. So do remember to enable it wherever it's available. What else can you do to protect your accounts? Here are some good practices. Always have different passwords for each of your online accounts. This is so that if the password for one of your accounts gets compromised, the other accounts will remain unaffected. Also, never write your passwords down and leave it out where anyone can see it. And if you find it difficult to create strong passwords and remember it, all of them, an alternative would be to use a password manager. Remember to use a password manager with 2FA support. And don't share your passwords or OTP with anyone who asks for it. It could be a scam. Now, in case you are wondering how you can check if your password is strong enough, you can test it right here at this URL. Take my password for example. This will take cyber criminals about 212 million years to crack. So be sure to use strong passwords and enable 2FA. Because it's always better to be cyber safe than... Sorry.